Damn. Yeah, that's the last time I used star power. I don't know what just happened. Huh? Where'd my controller go? What's this thing? Yes, yes, even in this day and age, in the year 2008, every hit video game has to have a mutant LCD knockoff. This one happens to be, of course, Guitar Hero. With a Guitar Hero... How the hell do you say that word? Carabiner? Carab... Carabiner? I, I've never even heard of the word until they started making these electronic knockoffs in this form. Has anybody else? I know I haven't. Really works. Ten jaw-dropping track segments. Yes, there's actually ten songs on here, but they're not full. They're, like, kind of like little excerpts from the song with the most instrumental part in it. Uh, you got three levels of play, five levels of volume control, but we're going to cover that in a second. There's major flaws with that. The neck actually folds down for portability, and I don't want to actually show you all this without actually showing you the product itself. So... Let me refocus and take the thing out of the box. Okay, there we are. All focused. Well, except for the close-up. Let's take the sucker out of the box. I've already got batteries in it. Okay, so I like to concentrate on what else is in the box first before we get to the product itself. So we fully know so good. So we fully know about what we're working with here. Guitar hero instructions, just how to play, blah blah blah. In this um handheld version, there's uh let me read the instructions, make sure I'm the right vocabulary. I'm not a guitar hero freak. Uh, Okay, so you've got three brackets in the whole game, and there's three songs in each bracket. You need to fill up the... What's the word I'm looking for? You need to fill up the power bar by the time you're done with the bracket, or you don't get to go to the next one. And then the final song, the tenth song, is in its own fourth bracket, in which your score does not really matter. Right. So you don't get to choose from all the songs right off the bat. And in case you're wondering, no, your progress is not saved when you turn the thing off. That's such a shame. Alright, so I got this online for $15 off of thinkgeek.com. Apparently my radio shack has started carrying these too. Um, I really didn't expect that came to work. I was like, well, <laughs> where the hell did these things come from? Uh, let me refocus here again. Okay, it's about as good as we're gonna get. So, there's no strum bar, there's just the five buttons. There's a whammy button, it's a button, not a bar, bar speed. So you just, if you got a long note, just hold down the note, mash it like crazy. Um, again, you've got the foldable neck for portability. You've got the clip right there, if you want to show it off to all your friends. Uh, don't know, <laughs> just to show off the real game instead. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, and our first option is to choose the level, which is one, two, or three. Uh, we'll choose level three, because level one and two are really, uh, not worth doing. Volume. Okay, I said I was going to talk to you about the volume. Um, this thing takes three AAA batteries. I don't think that's enough power for this, because the sound output is really good, and there's a lot of stuff going on on the LCD screen when it's in the middle of the game. So, the higher you have the volume, the dimmer the screen is, and when the notes come flying down the table here, uh, at a high volume and lots of notes on the screen, <laughs> get this, it will actually uh, neglect to show some of the notes. <laughs> so if you want to be able to actually see what the hell you're doing, you gotta have it on the lowest volume. Do not have it on the max, you will lose. Okay, so you get to choose what song you do first in the bracket, one, two, or three. It, 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 I think these two, the red and yellow, are to cycle through menus. Or, no, it's the yellow and blue. Yeah, okay. So we'll start off with song number one. I'm not able to identify these songs by just listening to them, because I'm not a music fanatic. Um, if you can identify the songs, you win a cookie. Three, two, one, go! If it blinks, it means you got the note. As you can see, the timing is incredibly off. I'll explain that after the song. You may have to turn up your volume, not sure. So you see, like, the sound graph here, that means nothing, and Got the guy rocking out here. Um, right, so let me tell you about how hard it is to hit the notes. Okay, anyone who's even ever heard of Guitar Hero, I think, knows that to hit the damn note, you have to hit it when the note is at the bottom of the table here. Okay? It, make, it makes sense, right? Hit it when it's at the bottom. Such is not the case for this game. And I still haven't figured it out. I've played through it so many times. I've only gotten to the 10th song once. Because 
of the lack of proper hit detection. It seems like you have to hit it not when it's on the bottom of the table, but when it's either one or even two LCD segments away from the bottom of the table. Yeah, it's, it's really confusing. The notes, I swear, are not... They're not properly timed to the song at all. They are... Okay, let me just play another song. I'll play song number two. The notes do not correspond with the song properly at all. Notice the lack of blinking notes. That means, in other words, notice the lack of notes that I'm properly hitting. See how early you have to hit the note? Try to watch closely. Listen for the click of my finger, and then when the note blinks. Okay, so you can see the problems where, for one thing, the notes, they, again, I can't stress this enough, the notes are not matched up to the rhythm of the song, the notes have nothing to do with the song, <sighs> although if you look at it again, um, it seems like the notes are in the right spot, but the fact that you have to hit it so damn early for the collision to, uh, for it to think that you hit it, um, it makes it feel way off, and the song almost messes you up. You almost end up not paying attention to the song, because you're just trying to get the rhythm of the notes. Let me put it on a high volume and show you how the screen dims out. Um, let's see. Like I said, it dims out when it's at a high volume. I don't think it's high-powered enough. Okay, so I put it at max level and max volume. There are going to be a lot of missed notes. The screen's going to be so dim. Notice how they dim when they get to the bottom. You can actually see some very briefly. But by the time you notice the nearly invisible note, it's too late. These are fresh batteries, yes. Look at that. Look how they're, like, invisible. I know there's more notes than this. Look at I could barely see those. Did you see that last one? I didn't I didn't see that. Okay. So what's my final verdict about this thing? Well, it, first of all, I wanted to say who it's made by. It's made by a reliable brand. It's made by, let me see if I, they have the, their logo on here. No, but their name is on here. Basic Fun Inc. They're a very good company. Uh, they're a company that's made miniaturized versions of uh, fun games, even things like board games, and they have, like, uh, they're actually playable. Even games like Mousetrap. I have one. I'll show it to you guys one day. It's a miniature Mousetrap board game. It's got mini parts, and when you put it together, it works. It works just like the real Mousetrap, and it's mad small. It's in, like, a thing only, like, this big. It's really cool. So, they're a good company. Um, Activision... Uh, you know, they went and authorized this toy. Where's their name on here? Uh, do -do 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 that's the basic fun logo. Activision, there we go. So, th you know, this isn't, like, illegal or something. This is for real. This could have been a very fun toy. Um, when I first got it, I was really excited to have it. I thought, I, w I was even thinking to myself, okay, I'm gonna start carrying this around. You know, it's gonna be kind of cool. But, um... It just doesn't cut it. The volume has to be so low that... Okay, let me try to sum it up. The volume has to be so low that you can't hear it. But when you can't hear it, you can't play the notes that are already unsynced with the song. And if you turn the volume up too high, not only is it more confusing because, again, they're not synced up with the notes, but you can't even see the notes because the volume's not high enough. Don't buy it! <sighs> Yeah, don't buy it.